Hi everybody, how are you guys all doing? I hope that you guys are all doing well today. My name is Tracy and you're watching me here at Tracy Monster on YouTube. You can also find me at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy, Payhip, and Instagram where you'll find a ton of really super fun money savings challenges that will help those of you who are looking to add to your sinking funds or for those of you who are looking to pay off debt or for those of you who are looking to save money for the next big purchase that you have coming up in your life. But before we get started in today's video, I always like to start my videos off by saying thank you to each one of you for taking the time to click on that play button and giving me the opportunity to share these types of videos with you. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in into today's video because I need to cash stuff for week three of January. So for this week, I am going to be cash stuffing $170.35. So there's 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 170. And then with my change, it was 35 cents, which brings me to a total of $170.35. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get these bills where I need them to be so then we can get this money cash stuffed. So how is everybody's uh, weekend going? I hope it is all going well for you guys. It is Sunday and we are almost to a whole new week already. So yeah, the third week of January. Wow. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let me go ahead and put this towards the back. So then we put these in order and out of the way. All right, so the very first savings challenge we're going to be saving with is the 52-week savings challenge where I'm trying to save $1,378 for this year for next year's Christmas vacation. So let's go ahead and get that. That's one, two, and three. And then I have my new cash envelope binder here. <laughs> this is my all new and improved 52 weeks savings challenge binder. I absolutely love it. I'm going to link you up to the video here above so then you can see all of the pages that I'll be working with throughout the course of this year. I am just loving it. It's a complete change from the binder that I used uh, last year. Last year was more of like the darker theme with like reds, blacks, and whites and stuff like that. And so I wanted to kind of tone that down just a bit and make it a little more cheerful. So um, in this binder, I have these labels in my Etsy shop. And on the label, it says week three, depositing $3. And I now have a balance inside of my cash envelope binder of $6. So yay, $6 is done. And now I can go ahead and mark off my week three of the 52 week savings challenge. All right, the next savings challenge that I have here is roll the dice. And on this one, I needed to save for week three, $7. So there's five, six, and seven. And so since I love my binder so much, what I have actually decided to do is um, put my money into these little sleeves because I had extra sleeves. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, keep all of my challenges within a min like a second mini, like a another binder like this one, just so that it's all together. Because um, I really like how uh, simple this is to keep everything. So I'm going to go this route this year. And uh, so, yeah, so I uh, just decorated um, this little sleeve here. Um, I have my Roll the Dice Savings Challenge sticker that I've used. And then I have a label here where once I have all of the money saved, then I will write my amount here. But uh Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put my $7 inside of here, and then I'll need to go to Staples and um, get a whole new binder. I think I'll probably go with another white one just so that it kind of matches this other one. But anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and color that in right here. So with the stickers, um, I have this matte sticker here, and then I also have one that is the holographic uh, stiff sticker. 
so you can kind of see that in the in the lighting that it kind of has like that holographic look I don't know if you could see it on the camera let me bring it up closer maybe that might help a little bit but uh, you could see the differences between the two different types of stickers how one is holographic and the other one is just a matte uh, finish without the holographic but uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing with that one. So that one is done and complete with the roll the dice challenge. The next savings challenge I have here is the cogs in gears uh, savings challenge board game. And on this one, I needed to save $26. I've already saved those two. So now we need to save 26. So we have 20 25 and 26 so that is with the cogs and gears and this is my savings challenge envelope here and we're gonna go ahead and put that inside the envelope at the end of the month I will be verifying what I have in my cash envelopes um, and make sure that it matches what is on my actual uh, savings challenges so um, I don't verify every time that I do the videos, my cash stuffing. I do it at the end of the month for those of, for those of you that are new. And in fact, I just stuffed those. So I need to cross all of these out. I have not been crossing. <laughs> I have not been crossing them out. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so we got that, 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 that. All right, they're all crossed out now. Okay, perfect. So then when I come back on Monday, this is where I will start, and that will be for week four. And we have five weeks um, in January. The way that I do my savings challenges on Mondays, uh, I have five Mondays this month. So I may be finishing up this game next week or uh on monday so i don't know we'll see i'm i'm feeling pretty confident on that one <laughs> now watch me get a bunch of ones <laughs> um okay so um the next challenge that i have here is the girls 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 70s savings challenge and on this one i wanted to save a hundred dollars and so here is my hundred buckaroos right there so crossing that out and just like I did with the roll the dice, I made another one here um, again with a, a sticker that I sell in my Etsy shop. And uh, when I get it finished, I'll be putting the grand total here on the envelope. But uh, here is the hundred dollars that is going in right there. And that takes care of the 70s savings challenge, the girls, girls, girls. All right, next savings challenge that we have here is Save the Change. And like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, I saved 35 cents. Uh, so the 35 cents is already in my uh, counter change tray. So we're just going to go ahead and color that in since I've already counted the change and put it away. Okay, so that takes care of Save, uh, save the Change, 35 cents. This is going by really fast today, guys, like super fast. Um, before I go any further, I wanted to mention to you that on Tuesday, for those of you who used to join uh, Mari and I from Budgets and Chaos on Tuesday, or what was it, Mondays at 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we are actually going to be uh, doing a live together this coming Tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So hopefully you guys will be able to join us because we have some ideas as far as um, what we can do to continue having lives and playing uh, savings challenges with our community. Um, we would also love to hear your ideas and what you think would be fun um, because we do have a handful of people that like to come to our lives and like to save along with us. So hopefully for those of you who um, do join us that you come with some ideas because we would really, really, really love to see your ideas in the live chat and hopefully you can join us because we have a lot a lot of fun so anyway so yeah so that'll be this Tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time so hopefully you can join us all right the next savings challenge that I have here is the steampunk cogs and gears 
And on this one, let's go ahead and take a look. I needed to save $4. So we have one, two, three, and four. So that is going in. And of course, my pink marker is missing. What is it with that pink marker? And my daughter is not here. She moved out. <laughs> so it's not the case of my daughter losing my pen anymore. I guess it's been me. Wait just one second. This must be like my favorite marker where I am always using it and I walk away and I never bring it back. <laughs> So anyways, that is $4 in the $1 envelope. And now we want to fill in one five, which is right here. And we're going to go ahead and fill that right there. And then no tens are going to be filled in. And then we have a $20 bill, which is right here. And why do I have an extra $5? That is the question, my friends, is why do I have an extra $5? I don't know, because I don't have any to be fill in here, and there's none there. So why do I have an extra $5? This is, um, this is interesting. So let me go through these really quick and find out where, where it went. Then we had, okay, let me go through each one. Well, the, the, no, because, oh, the junk journal. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, how did I forget the junk journal? Let me get that. Can't believe that I forgot my junk journal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so the junk journal savings is $5. That's where the missing $5 went. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip over <laughs> to my junk journal. Look at this. Isn't this so pretty the way that it's looking? I have like little ribbons that I've made and little gems or um, um, what do you call these? Beads hanging off the sides. It's looking so, so pretty. Okay, so with this one, it was $5 and that one is right here. So let's go ahead and put the $5 in. So then that one is complete. Oh my gosh, so sorry guys. Okay, so now let's go ahead and color this in to show that that one has been completely saved. I can't, for, I can't believe that I almost forgot my junk journal out of all the challenges. My goodness, okay. Go ahead and color this in really quick. Okay, so there we go. $5 is going in right there. And then, oh, I do not like this washi tape. This washi tape, either it's because I've had it for a long time or it's just junk tape. It's actually made from scotch. And uh, yeah, I'm not really liking it at all. But I added this little uh, like little pattern here. This was some wrapping paper that I used um, this last Christmas. And then I tore a piece out and stuck some there. And then I had this Santa that I had over here. I relocated it and glued it down over here. So um, what I think I'll probably end up having to do is I think I may run out of space over here given the um, the bubbles that we have, the amount of bubbles that we have over here. I may run out of room, so I might have to allocate this area or I don't know what I'm going to end up doing. But um, anyways, this is what my, uh, my savings challenge looks like in my junk journal. And then for those of you who didn't see, I'm actually going to link you up to the video um, of how I designed this one. So um, this is a Christmas card. So if you like to watch that video, I'm linking you up so you can uh, have a cup of coffee or have a sandwich or whatever it may be. And you can watch me assemble a savings challenge in my junk journal at a very low cost, which cost me nothing because these were already things that I had inside of my house. <laughs> So uh, anyway, all right, so that is the junk journal savings. So that is complete. So now we have the, uh, the trackers now. Um, this one here, as you can see, I wrote down all of my savings challenges with their amounts. I added them all up and this told me how much I needed to budget and save and now how much I have um, stuffed in my cash envelopes and cash envelope binders.
of $170.35. So now that I know how much um, I needed, uh, how much I saved for week three of January, now I'm going to carry that amount over to this savings tracker. And you can see here for week three, $170.35. Once I'm done with all five weeks of January, I'm going to add all of those amounts up. And then that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire month of January. Now, once I have that total, for January, I'm then going to carry it over to this savings tracker. And this savings tracker is where I will put that amount here in the January section. Once I'm doing that, once I'm done doing that every single week and every single month, then at the very end of the year, I will come back to this tracker. I will add up all of those amounts and that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire year of 2024. If you're interested in any of these savings challenges or especially these savings trackers, these savings trackers are sold um have they have they all three have their different listings they are predated with the months and also with the weeks every month has five weeks um just so then you know and um if you would like to save a few bucks and get them as a bundle you can do that too this is now officially up in my etsy shop and also in my pay hip shop so super super fun um, so yeah, guys, that is it for the day. Super fast, super easy video today. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, even if it's an emoji, because it definitely helps with my uh, the algorithm of my channel. And also, if you like any of the savings challenges, um, then head on over to my uh, pay hip shop or my Etsy shop and I would love to be a part of your savings journey for this year so anyways everybody thank you so much for being here all the way to the end have a wonderful rest of the day and have a wonderful week ahead and stay safe out there because it's a crazy crazy world enjoy have fun and happy savings everybody thanks for watching bye-bye